you know, basically like I went to digital realizing cable news was dying and, you know, I wanted to build yeah. something fine, but now the bottlenecks, like you were talking about Netflix and the streaming services, but for news, it's like YouTube, Facebook, the places where you can monetize mm -hmm. content in the, you know, mm -hmm. online. Um, are you finding that it's those bottlenecks, those big corporate entities that have ever kind of replaced the old institutions online? Is it difficult to like play that game? To, I know you climbed that ladder successfully, but do you think there's an opportunity for like younger people, younger comedians who are coming up now, like to use, you know, Patreon or like a subscription service or Substack or something like that to gain a, is that a new opportunity for? I think like, so. Comedians? Yeah, yeah. I think I think so. There's just so much out there. I think that, you know, there's these pillars that for comedians really help them. You know, uh, 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 if if Rogan believes in someone, uh, you know, like um, uh, Crystal and Sager, uh, I, I found out mm -hmm. uh, I find because you also don't know. You know, it's like we're like, I don't trust the media. And then you're starting following some random person on Reddit. You're like, why do I trust this person? You know, <laughs> so for me, yeah. the p main sources of my news, I do Crystal and Sager who yep. left mainstream news and they're. Oh. Yeah, they're just on YouTube. Yeah, Sager lives in, in D.C. We've tried to meet a couple times. I'm such a fan of them. Um, Jessica Yellen, who was at ABC and CNN, and then she left. And she does like an Instagram um, sort of like news, you know, straight to camera thing. I sometimes will go to the Daily, New York Times, if I'm just mm -hmm. in the car driving, you know. But, but the answer is yes. It's just that, you know, there is a little bit of this. Everyone thinks that they're a journalist now. So are you selling yes, journalism? Exactly. Or are you selling are you selling your opinion on the on on what's mm -hmm. going on? I think most people just want the opinion at this point. You know, I remember think about it when we had newspapers. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up in D.C., Washington Post comes in. I go straight yeah. to the op-ed. I just want to know the opinion. I want the gossip. I want to I want the snitchy, like hot take. You know, so I think that I think that most people want biased news. And that's all that's available for the most part in mainstream. And, you know, it's it's a breath of fresh air to hear like Crystal and Sager. Bridget Phetasy is genius. She does yes. a, a, a podcast called Dumpster Fire where she does the news. It's like you end up learning, but also laughing. I think people are at a time where. Not only do they not trust mainstream news, but they also um, they want to hear it from their friend. I mean, Tim Dillon, you know, is is yeah, a friend of mine. He's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And, and Joe Rogan, he won't even really know half the time. He'll be like, I don't really know what I'm talking about. Pull that up. You'll just we'll just pull up a news story and read it. And you're like, oh, I get to hang out with my friend while I'm kind of getting this news from my friend. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, instead of like, this is what happened where we tune out. I think you can get the news by. You know, I just go to Twitter. I go to what's trending in the algorithm. I'll like go on Reddit for a bit. But I think you have to actively sort of play defense on being conned and, you know, gaslit and brainwashed. Uh, it's nicer, I think, to have it filtered through someone that you trust who has proven to be no exactly. bullshit. And I think that's what we're moving towards. It's like I'm going to you because I know you're going to tell me, get me that from the rights. It's like your smartest friend is giving you the news who also has a smart opinion on it. I think it's what we're moving towards, because if you give an opinion, people know, OK, this must not be biased. You know what I mean? Whereas I think now if people are if, if news anchors are too straight, people are like, well, why? What did, exactly. did, did Disney did, did the robots? Did, what do they stand to gain? This is sponsored by Pfizer. And, you know, it's like people yeah. are too smart now. Very much a party like atmosphere over here. And the flaming buildings are behind them. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think people yeah. really they want the they want the truth from someone that they trust. And then they also want the take like, you know, Ben Shapiro. I don't agree with him on everything. Most things. But I I listen to his podcast sometimes because he just says it in the most concise, distilled way. But then we'll throw in little like jokes. He, it's like it's like he's like Alex P. Keaton. You know, it's like it's like he's your, <laughs> That's actually he's your a good brother. Comparison. You know yeah. what I mean? I, never like, thought of I don't. I don't agree with any like a lot of that I'm saying, but I'm learning and I'm learning what my point of view is because I disagree with him a lot. So it's like sometimes I'll listen to people I don't agree with, but it's just whoever's smart and has done their research and that I trust whether I am into their opinion or not. 